Hello, parents and families of Grace Christian School. Dr. Pettinger here today on this very hot Saturday. Just got back in from a bike ride, and it is sweltering out there. There are only nine days left before August 24th, the first day of school. I cannot wait. It's so exciting. So if you are a family that always gets your picture in front of the bulletin board, it is all set up. It is ready. And like I reminded you last week, we would ask that you start taking your pictures this week. Start today. What a great time to go out when the sun starts to go down and get your pictures at the school. The reason we're doing this is so that we honor physical distancing and we have the least amount of people on campus. And especially we don't want to crowd around the sign on uh, the first day back. So the sign's up for you and it's ready to go out there. Hey, next thing on our list is distance learning. If you are going to be distance learning, we want to make sure that you have that paperwork turned into the office by Monday. This coming Monday, not August 24th, but the Monday that's coming up in two days. I told you that you could find the form on the website. And I had a parent ask, where is it on the website? Great question. If you go to our website, www.gcsrr.org and go to academics and slide, admissions, excuse me, go to admissions, slide down. It's the last thing there called Distance Learning Agreement. It's a PDF form. You can print it up, fill it out. You can email it back to Christy in the office, and that's all you need to do. We'd like to have all of these back by Monday before we go into our teachers' meetings on Tuesdays so that we can make the best possible distance learning experience out there for all of our students. Next on the road is I told you we would provide a COVID update every time I come before you. You are going to see these as 18 by 24 signs. They're friendly reminders in the car line to not come onto campus. If you have been out of the country, a fortunate person who's been on international travel within the last 14 days, we don't want you to come on campus. If you have been in close contact with somebody who has recently been tested positive for COVID-19, and what that means is that you have been within six feet of them for over five minutes, that is considered contact, and we would prefer you not come on campus. Not just prefer, we don't want you on campus. Uh, we love everybody, but we want you to keep home until we know you're safe for everybody. And the final thing is, if you are experiencing any symptoms of the following, cough, sore throat, fever, runny nose, shortness of breath, and there's a few others out there also, but these are the top five. There was also a study released today from USC of 55,000 cases that they looked at. And they found there is a definite order in which the symptoms occur in the majority of patients. The first is the fever, then cough, muscle pain, nausea and vomiting, and then finally diarrhea. Uh, boy, aren't those some wonderful things. And they say the reason it is so important to understand these is so that you're able to distinguish more quickly if it's the flu, a cold, or something else, or COVID, and we need to move on. It's hot out there today, parents. And you know the saying, it's so hot you could fry an egg. Uh, maybe that would be a great science experiment for some of your kids if you come on in a little bit closer to the Inland Empire where it's supposed to be 109, 110 today. Anyway, stay safe. I will see you tomorrow with another Grace Christian School update.